Now that the dresser is gone, what am I supposed to say here? Hey y'all, I am James Wright and welcome to my shop. This last week has been one of my favorite. Uh, we finally finished the dresser. It is not in the basement, it's not in the garage, it is in our bedroom and I am in love with it and so is my wife and that is the important thing. Uh, this last week I had two videos coming out. Number one, the final video on the build which was the, uh, the finish work and putting everything together and moving into the house. And then the second video, I actually kind of did a walk around and showed what did I like, what didn't I like, uh, were there things I'd like to change, and I got a lot of great ideas from you guys, uh, particularly the, the drawer stops, which were something I just kind of threw together at the end to get it into the space. Um, I'm actually probably never going to see those drawer stops again until we move, because the dresser is a beast, I can't pull it out away from the wall. Uh, but when I do, I might actually do something different, like uh, had someone say a wrought iron or a hand-forged washer to go in the back as opposed to a shiny steel. Uh, a lot of things about dovetails that could go back there, and some other interesting ideas. So I might end up doing that, you know, uh, two to five years from now when I move. Uh, but for right now, the dresser is where it is, and I'm not pulling away from the wall to look at those again. <laughs> but it's working great, and I'm in love with it, and so is my wife. So this next week, uh, we're going to be doing other things. I'm actually starting on restoring, uh, redoing the shop and getting everything up in here. Uh, I'm in the process of installing new lighting. So Thursday, the video will be all about the lighting. You may see that there's a little bit more of a, a cool blue over here uh, because I'm getting the LEDs. I'm switching over from, these are currently at about a 3,000 um, uh, color temp, and I want to switch over to a about a 45 um, over there. So yeah, it's going to be fun, and that should be an interesting video. For Saturday's video, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I've had a lot of people asking me, how do you make a sliding dovetail by hand? Uh, so I might go into that. Um, I'm actually going to be starting a very large carving project. I have this massive piece of cherry that I'm going to be diving into. Um, and I'm looking forward to that, although I'm working on a few items for that project as well. Um, I'm going to be starting on my saw bench. Uh, that might be coming out. I'm in the process of making uh, tool rolls for all of my rifflers, and I have uh, almost 300 rifflers that I'm making uh, two tool holes to hold them all. So that should be kind of fun. I don't know if I'm a video on that, but uh, yeah, that's coming up. And then also I released the intro video into the hand tool build off 2016 and uh, so that is now um, out and if you want to find out more information about that I'll leave a link to that in the cards as well. Now I have to say I'm sorry um, on the last shop report I did not mention what I'm giving away this month in the uh, monthly Patreon giveaway but this month is an interesting one. I'm actually giving away uh, this shoulder plane. Um, I picked this up a while ago and was going to do some rest restoration on it. Um, it works as is, but uh, the next person might actually have some fun um, kind of playing around with it. So I figured this would be a good one to give away. Now this is a brass infill shoulder plane, um, low angle. It was made by um, some other woodworker, and I don't know who. Um, I just picked it up at a fairly decent price, and so I figured this would make a great giveaway for this month. Um, and because I didn't give anyone a heads up, um, if you want to join Patreon and be entered into the giveaway for this, I'm going to be giving this away on the next shop report. So I am looking forward to that and uh, yeah that should be uh, a fun one to hand off to someone. Handworks is coming up fast. It's going to be uh, two weeks from this weekend and I am really really looking forward to it. I've got a lot of other hand tool people who are coming out to it and uh, this should be an absolute blast. It's kind of like woodstock for hand tool woodworkers. <laughs> um, and yes, I'm really looking forward to that. And if you're going to be there, let me know in the comments below. I might uh, do some sort of meetup. Um, I will be uh, hanging out with all the other hand tool people. I know uh, um, Shannon Rogers from the hand tool school is going to be there, and it, as well as a lot of other um, uh, well-known people. So looking forward to that. So this last week has been a little bit slow um, due to getting a few other things um, set up in the shop and kind of transitioning from the dresser, but I'm hoping to kick it off on uh, the next few weeks and really do some more cool things. Uh, the new uh, saw bench and main bench are going to be coming up here fast, and then I'm going to be doing all the shop renovation now that I actually have lighting to be able to use the space over there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, that's about it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, want to 
say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to be entered into the drawing for that, uh, you can find out more at the link down right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.